Hi guys, I'm back with Jax taking a look at the new Fallout 76 neighborhood shelter. Keys in with the pit and by all you know, measure looks rather large, shall we say. I mean, looking at the little pictures that you've got in the Atom store, this thing looks massive. You know, it's a big open area. It's nothing like any of the other shelters that they've ever put out. There's no roof on it. You know, you've got a skyline and you've got some walls and bits and bobs tucked away. Very interesting. Certainly, you know, a move away from the, the classic caves or the classic vault ones that we've had in the past. In fact, even the entrance to this thing is completely different to what we've had. It's sort of a, a double cellar door or like, you know, a pub door to the, the, the underground section. You know, we've had normal flat doors, vault doors and stuff. But this thing's as if you're literally going down sort of into a pit in a way you know you're going to walk down through the staircase and arrive at some strange destination i love the aesthetic of that entrance it's it's just you know perfect in keeping really the place itself though well yeah you open up into a destroyed little building you know in the corner of a courtyard or a crossroads if you like and you know there's definitely scope to well finish this entrance building you could put a wall on it maybe a door and convert it into a little i don't know a shop maybe you know the, the ideas are sort of coming it is a very very big area to fill and i think that's what is on a lot of people's minds if they buy it for 1800 atoms which is a heck of a lot let's face it is what the hell are you going to put in it because it's so big well the height as you can see is pretty extreme you can't actually go all the way to those rooftops and stuff you know we have tried that you can't do any of that unfortunately but um, physical size of the place yeah it's extensive i mean as you walk across the crossroads area you go under this uh, it's like a bridge or a cover area across the railroad the railroad's caved in at both ends so you could probably put mine carts or the train carriage if you've got it if you know there's an old atom store train carriage you could probably put that on the tracks um, make this into a bit of a an area for more train orientated stuff maybe if you get some of the pit rewards from the scoreboard etc you know they go nicely actual size though build budget a lot of people have mentioned build budgets on this thing well let's pick a big prefab yeah nobody will argue that this isn't one of the bigger prefabs available sort of in keeping you know scruffy messy kind of look dingy thing when you sort of put this down it it only takes like a millimeter of build budget so yeah you know it's really good and the other question is can you go over the top of the walls into the next street no you can't you jet pack up here and you just you know stay still you don't you don't manage to get over there we've tried everything you definitely can't do it guys and there is no day night cycle on the weather it's always this color so again put that one to rest overall it's a nice area but by gosh we need some stuff to fill it up maybe the nuka cola wagon that's coming in the future anyway hope this was helpful thanks for watching and bye for now